As most of you know, between the Sephora VIB sale, the Ulta sales, the Black Friday sales, the Cyber Monday sales, this month has been insane. I have found some fantastic new products to me and I cannot wait to share with you what I'm loving this month. Well, there goes November and we are at the end where we do a roundup of what I found this month. I have more than I could put in this video. So I tried really hard to be very, very specific about what I wanted to put in this video because there was a lot. And a lot of these are high end because of the Sephora sale. Please keep in mind that I am absolutely 100% still your drugstore affordable gal. I'm going to be trying to find as many dupes as possible, but here's the thing. This is such a great time of year to be able to afford the higher end things and getting a discount on them. So that's why I wanted to bring some of these to you today. Let's just get right into it. Otherwise we're gonna be here forever. The Tatcha Silk, the Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. This had quickly became such a favorite of mine. I'm in love with it. It sinks into your skin so quickly and you need a very small amount. Feels very hydrating, but when you get that work in just a little bit it truly does feel like silk on your skin and i i will be trying to dupe this but i have never felt anything so luxurious and so nice on the skin for a primer and your foundation i mean i have this on today your foundation will lay absolutely fantastic over top of this it's beautiful i'm loving it so much but i did also find one from revlon that i'm really liking and it is the photo ready prime plus perfecting and smoothing this one is a little thicker but that consistency is really darn close it's got that same hydrating property to it it feels super silky and super smooth and as i rub it into my hand i it's the same thing as soon as it gets into the hand and it sinks into the hand it just feels like silk so i've been loving this one as well and testing it out and it is a beautiful one that i've never seen before maybe i'm just living under a rock where revlon's concerned i don't know i also going back to hair things this is the matrix total results high amplified dry shampoo and i put this in a video really recently i got this on an ulta sale and it just gives such pretty volume. I really like it a lot. I use it also to not just give volume during the week, but of course, you know, dry shampoos are also meant to help extend the time between shampoos, which is great. I put this on right after I have dried my hair after it's been washed because it does actually help with not picking up more oils and residues during the the between washes too. So this is something that actually helps me not to have to wash my hair as much either. And I really like that one. All right, Laura Geller's having a huge sale and I've had a few of you ask me, you know, how do, how are you looking? How are you getting such a nice tan look to you? I think that sometimes it's about my lighting because it changes so much because I have the sun coming in. But I also think that it's this Laura Geller Bronze and Brighton, this baked compact. This is in fair and it's so good for for me it has a lot of pink hues in it and a lot of the reddish hues in it instead of it being the typical orange bronzer and so i'll wear my contour and then i'll wear this as bronzer and it just brightens up it's really pretty it's one of those ones that you really can't put too much on i like it for that too because even though i'm putting quite a bit on and I'm dipping down in, I'm still not getting like a ton of it on. I think she has it in a fair, a medium and a dark. I'm not 100% sure, but there are a bunch of different colors and it's so pretty. I really like it. And then I've been using also her Baked Balance and Brighten. This one is in light, light. And I've been using this quite strategically. I have some really bad discoloration right here on my jawline from, I don't know, sunspots or I guess maybe you know having acne through there and i've been just putting that right there not only does it brighten up that part of my face and help define my cheekbones but it helps disguise some of that and i've just been really enjoying that as well and then another thing is her french vanilla and french kiss baked original highlighter duo it's a split pan and I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. So there's a light pink on this side and then a vanilla on this side. And I actually been liking the light pink 
quite a bit and I can just put that on the top of my cheeks It brings a ton of light. You can actually put it just about anywhere This vanilla is beautiful to bring light into this part of your face Very very pretty on all of those and then this color right here buttercream. I think it's yeah pink buttercream This is gorgeous. These are the lighting um, blushes that have just a little bit of light property light catching property to them a tiny bit of this goes a long way but it gives such a beautiful ethereal glow on your skin i've been loving my whole order that i got from them and yeah it's one of those ones that i'm like yes i've been loving that a whole bunch all right powders first of all in my last video you saw me demonstrate the kosas powder i've talked about the kosas powder this is so blurring and so lovely and it's light and it it doesn't deposit a ton on your skin it is what i have to set down my foundation today i use it with a beauty blender so pretty go watch that video if you haven't seen it but i also did buy into the hype and i got the dior backstage powder no powder now i got it in a shade that i feel like it's just a little bit too dark for me this is the becca powder that i loved so much the sun lighting powder or the lighting powder, whatever it is this is that same powder it's the same exact powder so i'm so glad to find that although this is more than the becca was but it's still a beautiful powder i mean you can't rub in here enough and get too much on your hands you just you just don't this is my it cosmetics mega brush i love this brush i use it all the time for this but you just cannot get too much of this powder on and it's very blurring i got messed up my bangs it's very blurring and it just is beautiful i have really been enjoying this i think i'm probably going to get it in the color that's just lighter than this this one is two n so i'm probably going to get one n and i think it will be my perfect color that's going to be really good for me in the summertime and then for foundations i went foundation crazy I mean, seriously went foundation crazy. The Shiseido Synchro Skin, all three of these foundations pretty much do the same thing except for, I'll show you in a second. So the Shiseido Synchro Skin, this is the um, self-refreshing foundation, gorgeous, beautiful foundation. I am so glad that I found it is, it's incredibly easy to wear and that's the same thing with the dior um, forever skin glow this one is not a good color for me I'm, I'm wanting to get a lighter color but i can lighten this up with my mixing mediums and it doesn't change the consistency this one will give you a little bit more of a glowy finish or a dewy finish whereas the shiseido will give you more of a satin to matte finish it's not so matte that if you're dry, you're not going to like it because I am dry as the Sahara and I still like it. Both of these are perfecting on my skin. I think of the two, the Dior probably stole my heart because it was just so easy to put on and it didn't show any of my pores. This did, neither of them showed pores. Both of them lasted forever. I guess it was probably just the finish that this was a little bit more dewy than this one, but beautiful foundations knocked my socks off and then the um, bourgeois or the borgeous i can't say that bourgeois is what i want to call it healthy mix uh foundation anti-fatigue and this foundation boasts a 16 hour wear and is supposed to have vitamin c e and b5 in it and this is a gorgeous foundation too and like pennies from what those ones are this one lasts like crazy i will say that i had to color correct this one and make it so that it didn't do a little bit of oxid oxidation on it if you put that little bit of blue mixing medium from la girl which i'll link below um if you do that you're not going to have it oxidized and i've been finding that if i do that with almost all of my foundations tiny bit of that blue in there no oxidation it doesn't turn orange on me so this is pretty on my mature skin and it just it's gorgeous how it lays i will be doing reviews on these you know more in depth so that you guys can get those and see those wayne goss talked about this this month it's from drunk elephant it's the tlc glycolic body lotion with 10 percent aha and marula and shea butter i really love this this is something that i've been talking about forever is that as a mature woman we need to be turning over our skin or 
you know, exfoliating our skin. This helps us to do it in such a way that it's more gentle. And you can use this with your other actives. I personally use this on opposite nights of my actives, meaning when I use my Retin-A, I use this on opposite nights. Um, and I do get the tingling. My skin is a little bit sensitive. So if you start to get the tingling and you feel like you can't wear it, wash it off. Um, don't, you don't want to, you know, overly irritate your skin or anything. But you could also use this as a mask if you wanted to to get your skin used to it So after you wash your face, you would put this on your clean dry skin Let it set for 10 or 15 minutes and then go ahead and wash it off And your skin's going to get used to it to where you can use it as a part of the routine and leave it on at night But this is so good because he talked about how huge this bottle is And the one ounce bottles that we've been getting of all of these exfoliators and it gets beyond expensive and and this is I think an eight fluid ounce bottle so this is going to last a long time and definitely one that I would highly recommend I love that stuff all right here I go again Kosas that's the one that I have on today for my concealer is Kosas love this concealer because it's hydrating but the Anastasia Beverly Hills the new one is hydrating as well I love them both they both act very similar but I do feel like I like the Kosas just a little bit more for it being very very thin and it being super easy to blend super easy to wear they are pretty close to the same colors actually I don't I got that I'm just shocked that I actually got the same color but as you you know kind of tap them out and rub them out on your skin the consistency of the kosas is just a tiny bit thinner and that's i think why i like it a little bit more but the anastasia i can feel that that one is a little bit more hydrating so i think it really just will boil down to where you want whether you want super hydrating or whether you want something that's really thin that's going to be able to kind of set down a little bit i like the property of both of them but i think that i might lean towards the kosas a little bit but the anastasia I like it very much too for its hydrating properties. So kind of either or on that one. And then as of right now, this might change before this video goes up and I'll probably clip this out. But as of right now, the Patrick Ta Major Headlines um, blush palette is in. And again, if you can get your hands on this, it's so pretty. I've talked about it a bunch. I put it up on my social media a bunch and it just keeps going in and out. You have a row of cream blushes down here and then you have a row of the powders. And the way that he does it is he puts the powder on and then he puts the cream on top. It works out beautifully. These are very wearable colors, even though they might look a little bit bright, but a beautiful palette. I wish that he would make this permanent in his line. This is gorgeous. This little trio of blushes from Rare Beauty is still available. I would say grab those two because these are really wearable, beautiful blushes, especially if you have mature skin. They are so easy to just tap a little tiny bit, like this is way too much, but um, they're easy to tap out and then they almost like act like a stain on your cheeks. They're so pretty. They're just really gorgeous. I've been loving those too. And then as far as palettes go, oh my goodness, I went a little bit palette crazy. I got the Tartlet one, which isn't over here. It's over <laughs> there. I showed you in the video just previous to this, how that one did this look today that I have on. The Natasha Denona Retro Palette. I've been loving working with this, but these are right up my alley. Every bit the hype of what that girl has on her, I mean, her products are wonderful. And then I also got the Glam Face Palette, and this one is in light. And again, you have the um, blush, the highlighter, and then five eye colors. And I didn't think I was going to like these because, you know, I'm not a warm skinned person, but they're, they're really pretty and they just, they blend so easy. This is a beautiful face palette. I feel like this is a great way to try so many of her products if you want to really like that. And then the last two are from ColourPop, the Lust for Dusk palette. I, I use this almost every day. I go into one color or more on every day on this because it has such a great mixture of warm to not warm a uh, neutral tones and then the cool tones i love it it does have this row right here that is quite warm but it doesn't get so warm that i can't wear them they're very wearable i love this palette and then the little palette that i talked about very recently the lock it down palette too and all of its like um plummy colors along with the 
cool tone colors. So pretty. So I think that's it. I hope that's it. I talked a lot about them. A lot of these things are on sale right now. I'll make sure that I link everything for you so that you know that. Before I leave, I want to let you know that City Beauty is having buy one, get one free on all of their lip products. And I'm going to swatch three of them for you. I think this one is called Nude York. This one is kind of a peachy, clear color so pretty i love that one the one that i have on today is called san diego it's on top of a lip liner and i'll just put a little bit more on so you can see that one and then i'll swatch it as well san diego is definitely a peach with a pink with a tiny bit of pink peach reflex ha and the last one is called tinsel town and i know it looks like pink in the tube but it's pretty much just a clear with a tiny bit of shimmer in it so those are on sale as well i wanted to make sure that i told you about those because those are always my favorites i wear this these in the morning to plump up my lips i wear them to bed at night for the treatment i just think these are great so that's it for today's video i hope that you did enjoy it let me know if there were things this month because i know that you guys shopped the sephora sale as well i would love to hear what you guys are picking up during black friday ulta sephora wherever you're shopping I, actual cosmetics companies can lots of times have better sales even than we can get at sephora or ulta so i hope that this was helpful thank you so much for being here with me Give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here if you wouldn't mind doing it. It helps me so much. Take care of yourselves. I love you very much. And I'll catch you all in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.